The teasiness of his first 30 cantos was meant to suggest the pattern of a detective novel, said Ezra Pound after editing T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland, one of the most enigmatic poems of the 20th century. The poet's love for detective fiction is evident as for decades literary scholars have been trying to find out who is Stetson. In our love-starved world where there is no connection, the relationship established with a lock of hair on the floor or a lipstick stain on a glass calls our darkest fantasies. The relationship between the detective and his criminal is intimate because it is not threatened by betrayal. This episode is about hard-boiled detective fiction. When I think of a hard-boiled detective story, the black mask comes to mind. The Black Mask was a pulp magazine launched in 1920 by H.L. Meccan and George Nathan. Any defining characteristics that you can think of have likely appeared in The Black Mask. What are these characteristics? Well, a guy with a tough, cool, cocky and flippant attitude, working alone and having violence as his second nature, ambivalent and sometimes dismissive of police, operating in an urban landscape. But this is not all. This detective is flawed too. Maybe he drinks too much. Sometimes he is addicted to drugs. Sometimes he has OCD. But these are just in the right amount for him to catch the culprits. The detective is someone we all want to be. Someone unaffected by law, yet with a just agenda. The detective operates on what seems to be a perfect crime. In the presence of an incompetent law officer and a wrongly accused suspect, the detective's greater power of observation and deduction and his superior mind becomes a startling and unexpected denouement. Raymond Chandler said, The private detective is a fantastic creation who acts and speaks like a real man. He is completely realistic in every sense but one. In life as we know it, Such a man would not be a private detective. The detective lives in a city where fighting, violence, drinking, swearing, ugliness and death are all part of life. He has survived through his life balancing his desire to uphold the law with life. Living and surviving in toughest situations is what has made him hard-boiled. He can survive the evil that surrounds him. The hard-boiled detective administers new form of justice where, when it's needed, he crosses a line, breaks a law or two and makes sure justice is done. Sometimes he even takes a shoot first and ask questions later approach. Hard-boiled detective fiction brings awareness to disorder and inequities in the society. The detective is almost redemptive. He must not only correct the wrongs in society but must also illuminate the subjects that are real and shocking. Discord and realism are integral to the detective world. The relationship of the detective with the society shows this discord. Every case that the detective handles brings a different kind of challenge to this resolve. The detective faces a cacophony of facts and choices that concerns the well-being on the person he is investigating. The detective's relationships with the people and society constitute redemption for him. Redemption could entail anything from killing a person to settling a criminal free. The relationship can be as intimate as a sexual encounter or as isolated as a chance meeting with a stranger on a train. Life and detective in a detective story are one. Life owns up to the solution that the detective devises. Detective fiction has morphed into many forms. The detective has taken many forms too. He can be a political anarchist, an untainted and moralistic person, an introspective person, a detective with allegiance, an unintended detective, or a vigilante detective. The detective tactics reveal his character. He attempts to clear the deception away to find the truth. The tendency of the detective to become a part of deception is the essence of the hard-boiled detective story, where the flawed detective takes part in the mystery around him in order to find a way out. Thus, the hard-boiled detective seeks redemption through his personal turmoil by becoming a part of it. Stories are about people. The intent of any hard-boiled detective fiction is to show a connection between the detective's pursuit of relationships and redemption 
while keeping justice at the moral center. Detective stories are all about deception. The truth at the end is more than the investigation and tactics are aimed to manipulate and mislead. As the detective brings justice to the victim, he finds some redemption. But it is also not true for many stories that do not find a redeeming conclusion. This leaves room for discussion like, how do people living lies provoke others? What measures people take when driven to desperation? Do friendship, loyalty and retribution make a murder acceptable? What happens in absence of redemption? We are going to discuss these through some of the works in detective fiction in the next episode.